All right, good morning. We're back up here with Dazzler in his second day. Just getting him haltered up here and getting started. He did good yesterday. We uh, started out with a little hooking on and a little groundwork and got him saddled up and he was okay with that. So we got his owners up here today watching. And we're going to just start out here with a little bit of groundwork and get his attention and then we're going to see if we can get him saddled up with the big saddle today. He's got all kinds of things to look at today. Lots of new people and a horse right outside the round pen and wagon full of hay and kids up on the haystack so he's got a little focusing to do today. Yesterday was really just a feeling out day, see how he started out, where I thought there might be some holes, getting him to figure me out, figure him out. And just start getting with the program. On his groundwork, backing up was a little bit of an issue yesterday. He didn't really know how to back up. And focus on backing up. But we're getting a little bit of that. His really weak point as far as being able to get ready to get on him and riding is bending and flexing. He's not particularly good at it. He wants to kind of back away a little bit. He doesn't quite understand it, but... And when you try to bend him, he just kind of spaces out and stands there. But. But that'll come as we go along. Plus he has to deal with all these distractions in here, which is okay. I don't, I don't necessarily worry about all the distractions because he's got to deal with them outside anyway so whatever he gets subjected to is what he has to do and sometimes <clears throat> sometimes it takes a couple two or three days to get up to the point where you're saddling, but he's been saddled before and he was good yesterday. A lot of times I'll, I'll uh, saddle him up with the little saddle two or three times before I start with the big saddle, but he was real good yesterday with the little saddle, so we're gonna see how he acts with the big saddle today. One thing I need, one thing I need to do is make sure that my that I got the right pad because he's so narrow backed and my saddle is wide, so I might have to put a a different saddle or a different pad on him when I go to ride him. But we'll see.
Somebody's been messing with my saddle. When I start out with this big saddle, the first thing I want to do is just put it on like I did the little saddle and use the just the front cinch to get him started with because he's used to that. And then once I get him moving a little bit with the front cinch on, then we'll put the back cinch on and see how much that changes. The set when you saddled him before, did you use a, a flank cinch? When you saddled him up before, did you have a flank cinch on him too or just a front cinch? Okay. He's a little bit different with that one. He's that little flank cinch banging around there a little bit is kind of making him a little bit antsy. That's a good thing. He shouldn't be for four years old. Yeah. If he is, there's something wrong. You chew on my rope and I'm going to get you, pal. He's got a little bit of a hump there. He's not quite sure what's going on there, but that ain't too bad. do now 
is just start working him around here and getting him a little bit closer up to the rail so I can start doing some rail work with him. And I want to work him in here in a little bit tighter confines. Get him comfortable with coming alongside the rail. Pretty good, buddy. Have any questions so far? About 50 pounds. Start a little bit of the rail work with him this morning. Just getting him used to somebody being above him. Pal, get out of there. Yeah. Well, this is the first steps to yep. getting right, right on him, get above him, get him comfortable with somebody being above him, get him up here to the rail, work down on the saddle a little bit. He's doing pretty good for the first time here. A little bit antsy. Let's work down this way a little bit.
not about making them come up through the fence. It's just about getting them comfortable with coming up here and figuring things out. He's doing pretty well for the first time. He's not real sure about me being up here yet, but he'll figure that out. What's that? Well, it could be. But he's listening and he's trying. That's for the second day. That's all I expect. You know, I don't expect him to get it right off the bat. Once we get a sigh, that means they're starting to figure things out. Getting a little better at what they're doing. When he gets his first ride in the next day or two or three, this is how I get on to ride. I'll start by making a pair of reins. That once he's comfortable with being up here alongside the the fence and me sitting on him and getting on and getting off and he's relaxed and comfortable and we make a set of reins, get on from the rail and get a hold of my night latch and a short outside rain and just sit there and wait on him and most of the time they just kind of walk off sometimes they get a little bit antsy and want to take off on you a little bit but because I have the reins because I have the reins and my night latch it's not about pulling them down and getting them more scared it's just kind of going with it and sometimes the First ride is sits up here for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, waiting for him to take a step. Sometimes he'll step right out. Sometimes I got to encourage him a little bit, but generally it turns out pretty good. And the first ride, first ride will last 15, 20 minutes, unless something goes haywire and we got to do something different. But generally, 15 or 20 minutes on the first ride is. Yeah, I know, buddy. Back up just a little bit. There we go. Generally, 15 or 20 minutes is the first ride. Just make it good for him, make it good for me, and then we keep building on that. You know? All right, buddy. No, I don't think he is either. He seems pretty level-headed. Pretty good with the program here. So turn him loose here for a little bit, think about that, and we'll come back and reinforce that. Damn. How long have we been going on that one? Okay. That's a good place to stop that one for now. <laughs> 